I can't even let my grandbabies drink the water here. I am Luella Phillips Whitford. I am an environmentalist. I live in Mulberry, Florida, where that mosaic sinkhole was, 3.7 miles from that sinkhole. And I live in a mining culture community. We've had mining here for over 100 years. People have been here for five, six, seven generations. Because we don't have anything else here, that's all we know, we let them do it. There's nothing left here anymore. It's not where you want to raise your kids. You don't want your kids in mining. Let's just face the facts. It tears up the environment. We don't get any financial benefits from it. And now Polk County is a waste county. I'm surrounded by gypsum stacks. I'm surrounded by phosphate pits. I'm surrounded by reclaimed land. I'm watching children get sick. Oh no, I'm bleeding. With weak bones and, and yellow teeth and and nobody wants to admit it's because of mining. The mines say that they did not contaminate the water. If the water hasn't been affected past their property lines, they're full of it because our water was affected. It was affected by a lot. Mosaic was giving me water at one point, but then they sent me two letters saying, I, because I was requesting so much water, I wasn't allowed any more water. But now, since they don't give me the water, and because I'm a low, on low income, I have to go to other places to get my water. Sometimes I don't have the gas to do that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I don't, I, don't, I, don't have the, I don't have the gas to go and get water to wash my kids in it, so I still have to wash my kids in it sometimes. And I am horrified. I'm... <sighs> Let's go, little soldiers. And you help. Here. No, Howard. I didn't find them. Let's go. Howard has been my friend for 30 years. He's probably the only friend I have that's not dead from cancer. <laughs> He's kind of sick right now. He's been drinking the water for almost a year until what? About two months ago, Howard, you quit drinking the water? <laughs> He's a little bit more healthier now because he quit drinking the freaking water. Right. It's not fair what it is. It's just not. <laughs> Nobody should have to go through this. I mean, I don't worry too much about showering in it. I'm a guy, but the girls, you know, it's a little more sensitive, you know, on that tip. I mean, um, you're in Bartow, so I'd kind of be a little worried, but if we get all the water tastes good, you know, nobody knows that it's got, it's got some pollutants in it, you know, or radiation. And you would think that from all the mining. People would know that from the mining, you know, from the county jails and stuff like that. That's a reclaimed water. That's used water in my book. It didn't come right out of the ground. There's no well or nothing. And it, and it, and it does hurt. You know, we got to go do all this. Do this for water. You know, because we can't get water from Mosaic to sell. They cut us off. Cut us off without warning. Oh, you're using too much? I figure if you take a bath in it, you should be able to drink it. In a, in a literal sense, you know what I mean? Ah. Well, that wasn't too bad of a chore. Voila. You're not getting you up. <laughs> I gotta get up, I gotta go cook. No, you can't. Do you wanna eat? Yeah. <laughs> but it's hard because when you hear your, your five-year-old screaming at night because her bones hurt and you, and you can't find a doctor to tell what's wrong. And now the other two, their bones are starting to hurt them every night. But yeah, we're pretty much stuck. We're stuck here, and and no, I can't even get my kids out of it. <laughs> <laughs>